What's going on, turd nerds? Or should I say, bug farmers? Matt with Operator Mindset here, and in today's video, we're going to go over 12 flashcards, 12 questions I think you should be familiar with, especially if you're about to sit for your Class 3 wastewater exam. If you are, congratulations, stay in the books, stay hungry, you got this. Don't let the math scare you. If it is, check out our other video on Don't Let the Math Scare You. Know your knowledge, know your facts, study your process. That's going to take you way farther than, helping, than, than worrying so much about the math. Yes, still do the math, but I digress. Back to the flashcards. 12 flashcards, 12 terms, 12 things I think you need to know as an operator and as somebody who's about to sit for that class 3 exam. Let's get into it. Question number one, what is the white wire? This is going to be probably some kind of electrical, not probably, it is electrical question or a motor question. The white wire is going to be your neutral wire, okay? You're going to have three of them, green, black, white, white is neutral. Number two, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus ratio. You need to know that carbon actually means BOD, so you could see it in carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, or you could see it as BOD, nitrogen, and phosphorus ratio. That ratio is 100 to 5 to 1. Carbon is BOD. You need to remember that. 105 to 1. Carbon, phosphorus, nitrogen ratio. Know which one is which. Carbon's 100, nitrogen is 5, phosphorus is 1. Know that. It's very important. Number three, if a shear pin breaks, what should you do to replace it? Or what should you replace it with? That answer is going to be the same kind of shear pin. Don't just go grab you one of those grade A fasten all bolts out the bin. Replace it with the same kind of shear pin. It's there for a reason, all right? Don't do that. What gas has the lowest exposure limit? That's going to be hydrogen sulfide, H2S. Know that. How long must lab records be kept on file? Lab records are going to be three years. That's a great question to be very familiar with. Three years on your lab records. What's the best backflow prevention device? That answer is going to be air gap. I definitely know that one if I were you. Just saying. What do you need to know about chlorine gas? Things you should probably know about chlorine gas uh, that's kind of really an open-ended question, but number one, chlorine gas, 100% pure. I'd also say it's a greenish-yellow color, and it's also two and a half times heavier than air. Man, I got it. That two and a half times heavier than air, very important. I definitely know that that's why the air vents are low to the ground, exactly one foot off the ground to be exact, 12 inches. And know that that chlorine gas is heavier than air, and that's why, because it's going to sink to the floor. You want that air vent to pull it out so you don't walk into a room full of chlorine and fall out dead. That's why you want to do it, for real. Very serious. Next question. Biochemical oxygen demand, or BOD, hold time. So what is the hold time of the BOD? That's not how much time it takes to run the test. That is, what's the hold time from the point of sample to the point at which you run the test, what's the maximum that is? And it's 48 hours. Let's get that out there. 48 hours for BOD at less than or equal to six degrees Celsius. That's your whole time. Next, what is the treatment process that destroys pathogens? Hmm, what is it, what is it, what is it? Disinfection. Disinfection destroys pathogens. You might see one of the answers says sterilization. That's not it. Disinfection is what we talk about regarding the wastewater, regarding destroying the pathogens. Next, flocculative ponds made up of what two layers? That's a good one to know, especially regarding the class three. Two layers in the flocculative pond, they're gonna be a top layer is aerobic, because that's where the wind's moving it, or if you got an aerator up there, right? The bottom layer is gonna be an anaerobic layer. It's gonna be no oxygen down there because there's no movement down there. It's totally settled out. Aerobic top layer, anaerobic bottom layer. It's a great thing to know. Next, hold time 
for pH, DO, and chlorine? That's a trick question. There is no hold time. Those samples are grab samples and you need to run them immediately. If there is a hold time, which there's not, you're going to want to look for 15 minutes or less. That's the only thing. 15 minutes or less or none at all. That's the answer there. Next question and the last. What is sodium hypochlorite? That is liquid bleach. And the number you want to remember there is a 5.25% chlorine. Liquid bleach, sodium hypochlorite, know what that is. There's your 12 questions. That will hopefully get you maybe 12 free points on an exam because you studied all 12 of those. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, and share with us your story. Let us know. Are you taking the exam? Are you about to take it? You know, what's your fears? What's your worries? Let us hear your story. Let us hear some more content maybe even things you'd like to see or things you're struggling to understand and you would like us to try to show you. That would be great for us to have more content to make just for you. So feel free to comment, share below your experience. Again, subscribe to the channel. Turd Nerds out. I'm at Bug Farmer. I forgot what shirt I was wearing.